Remember that f of negative two means you substituted in negative two for the x into an equation, and then the answer to it is what you got out as a y. So another way of writing this, it, it's a point where the x coordinate is negative two because f of x, the x is negative two. Now using the graph, we need to find a point on the graph where the x coordinate is negative two. So if I started to plot a point, and I plot this point, and the first part is negative two, which way would I go? I'm gonna go right, left, up, or down? left. So if I go left two, I'm right there. Now if I finish plotting the point, I would go up or down. And I know where it's going to be because it has to be on the graph. If I start going down, see how I won't be on the graph? But if I go up to right there, I'm on the graph. If I go up higher, I'm not on the graph. So the only point on this graph that is negative two comma something is right there. And specifically, that happens to be, let me just make that the color. Um, it is the number one, it's the location. So that means the answer to, whoops, the answer to this one is going to be one. Okay, so let's do that again. On this one, if it says f of four equals something, if I had an equation in front of me instead, I would plug in the number four and then get out an answer and it would be my y coordinate. But when you're plugging that in, that four is the x coordinate. So I need to go to my graph to figure out what is the y coordinate. If I graph a point that starts with the number four, the first thing I would do would be to go right four. So one, two, three, four. Now if I finish plotting the point and the point is on the graph, the only way that happens is if I go up one, two. So we know that know that that must have been 2, so the answer here is 2.